Welcome to Philosophy Acquired. Today, I will speak of Martin Heidegger, a very controversial German philosopher. Leave a follow if you enjoy the episode. Martin Heidegger was born on September 26, 1889, in Meskirch, a small town in the Grand Duchy of Baden in southern Germany. His family had a long tradition of working with wood, and Heidegger's father was a sexton in the local church. Heidegger's upbringing was rooted in the Catholic faith, and the religious atmosphere of his childhood played a significant role in shaping his philosophical outlook. In 1909, Heidegger began his studies at the University of Freiburg, initially focusing on theology. However, his interest soon shifted to philosophy after attending lectures by Heinrich Rickert and Edmund Hussel. Hussel, the founder of phenomenology, became a crucial influence on Heidegger's intellectual development phenomenology, and early influences. Heidegger completed his doctoral thesis in 1913, titled The Doctrine of Categories and Meaning in Duns Scotus. His early philosophical endeavours engaged with medieval scholasticism, but the intellectual landscape was soon to shift with the outbreak of World War I. During the war, Heidegger served as a soldier and was deployed on the Western Front. This experience, coupled with the societal upheavals following the war, contributed to his existential concerns and marked a turning point in his philosophical orientation. Heidegger's encounter with phenomenology, particularly the ideas of Hussel, played a pivotal role in shaping his thought. Phenomenology, as Hussel conceived it, involves the systematic study of consciousness and the structures of experience. This approach profoundly influenced Heidegger's early work, leading to his fascination with questions of being and existence and time. Heidegger's most influential and widely studied work, Being and Time, was published in 1927. In this monumental text, Heidegger explores the nature of human existence and the meaning of being. The book is a dense and intricate investigation that introduces key concepts central to Heidegger's philosophy. Jason, being the world. At the heart of Being and Time is the concept of Dasein a term Heidegger uses to describe human existence. Dasein is not just an individual human being, but refers to the unique way in which each person exists in the world. Heidegger emphasizes that Dasein is always being in the world, indicating the inseparable connection between human existence and the surrounding environment. Dasein's existence is characterized by its engagement with the world, its projects, and its relationships with others. Heidegger rejects the Cartesian notion of a detached, isolated subject and instead emphasizes the situated and embodied nature of human existence, authenticity and authenticity. Heidegger distinguishes between authentic and inauthentic modes of existence. Authentic existence involves facing one's own mortality and embracing the responsibility of making meaningful choices. In contrast, inauthentic existence is characterized by evasion, conformity, and a refusal to confront the fundamental questions of existence. Heidegger criticizes the modern tendency to be absorbed in superficial concerns, such as societal expectations and idle chatter, which distract individuals from the authentic experience of being. Authenticity, for Heidegger, involves a profound self-awareness and a willingness to confront the anxiety and uncertainty inherent in human existence temporality and the existential structure. Heidegger introduces the concept of temporality as a fundamental aspect of Dasein's existence. Temporality, in this context, does not simply refer to clock time, but rather to the way in which human beings exist in a temporal dimension. Dasein is always in the process of becoming, and its existence is marked by a constant tension between the past, present, and future. The existential structure of Dacian involves a unique relationship with time, encompassing anticipation, the present moment, and retentive memory. Heidegger challenges the traditional understanding of time as a linear sequence and instead presents it as a dynamic and interconnected phenomenon that shapes human experience. Critique of technology. Heidegger's later works particularly his essays from the 1930s onward, delve into critical reflections on technology and its impact on human existence. 
In the question concerning technology, he explores the essence of technology and its implications for human life. Framing and the essence of technology. Heidegger introduces the concept of enframing Gustel to describe the way in which modern technology frames our understanding of the world. Enframing involves viewing the world as a standing reserve of resources to be ordered, controlled, and exploited for efficiency and utility. This instrumental view, according to Haida, obscures the deeper meanings and connections that define our existence. He argues that technology transforms our relationship with the world, reducing everything to a calculable and manipulable resource. In this process, the essence of things is overlooked, and the world becomes a mere inventory of objects waiting to be optimized for human purposes. The danger of forgetfulness of being. Heidegger warns of the danger of forgetting the essence of being in the technological age. The relentless drive for efficiency and mastery over nature, he argues, leads to a forgetfulness of the deeper meanings and purposes that should guide human existence. For Heidegger, the remedy lies in a renewed engagement with the question of being. He calls for a shift in our thinking urging us to move beyond the superficial concerns of the technological mindset and reconnect with the profound mysteries of existence. Heidegger's involvement with the Nazi party. One of the most controversial aspects of Martin Heidegger's life is his brief, but significant involvement with the Nazi party. In 1933, Heidegger was appointed as the rector of the University of Freiburg, and during this period he expressed support for the newly established Nazi regime. Heidegger's involvement in Nazi activities including his public speeches and pro-Nazi writings, has sparked enduring debates about the relationship between his philosophical ideas and political affiliations. Editorial Address In his inaugural address as rector, titled The Self-Assertion of the German University, Heidegger expressed enthusiasm for the Nazi movement and its vision for the rejuvenation of German culture. He spoke of the university's role in cultivating a new spirit an identity for the nation, aligning himself with the nationalistic fervor of the time. Heidegger's support for the Nazis is a complex and controversial aspect of his legacy. While some argue that he was an opportunist seeking advancement in his career, others contend that his engagement with National Socialism reflected genuine ideological alignment. The Black Notebooks Heidegger's controversial connections to the Nazi party became more evident with the publication of his private notebooks, known as the Black Notebooks Wurze Hefe, in the 2010s. These notebooks, spanning several decades, reveal Heidegger's reflections on various topics, including politics and anti-Semitism. In the Black Notebooks, Heidegger makes critical remarks about Jews, which has led to accusations of anti-Semitism. The revelation of these sentiments has intensified the ethical scrutiny of Heidegger's legacy, raising questions about the extent to which his philosophical ideas might be tainted by prejudiced views. Post-war period and rehabilitation. After World War II, Heidegger faced consequences for his involvement with the Nazi party. He was initially banned from teaching, but by the late 1940s, he underwent a process of denazification and was allowed to resume his academic career. Heidegger's return to the university and his rehabilitation in intellectual circles ignited further debates about accountability and the relationship between personal beliefs and professional contributions. Apology and ambiguity. Heidegger's post-war writings include attempts to distance himself from his earlier political entanglements. In a 1945 letter to the French philosopher Jean Bouffret, he sought to clarify his position and downplayed his connection to the Nazi party. However, the sincerity of his apologies and the extent of his accountability remain contentious issues. Heidegger's ambiguous responses to questions about his involvement with the Nazis, coupled with his reluctance to fully renounce his earlier political stance, have fueled ongoing debates about the ethical dimensions of his legacy. Continuing influence and critiques Despite the controversies surrounding Heidegger's personal and political life, his philosophical ideas continue to be influential and widely studied. A Heidegger's emphasis on the nature of being, existential concerns, and the critique of technology 
has resonated across various disciplines, including philosophy, literature, theology, and cultural studies. The creatures of essentialism and totality. Critics argue that Heidegger's emphasis on an essentialist understanding of being and his tendency to seek totalizing narratives can lead to exclusionary and problematic perspectives. The charge of essentialism suggests that Heidegger's philosophy may oversimplify the diversity of human experiences and cultures. Existentialist contributions. Heidegger's contributions to existentialist thought have been both praised and critiqued. Existentialism, with its focus on individual freedom and responsibility, has been celebrated for its relevance to personal and social struggles. However, some critics argue that Heidegger's existentialism can be elitist and neglectful of social and political dimensions. This is the end of the episode. Listening to an episode many times may help you memorize and utilize its information more effectively.